for me, what's so great about open space is that it allows you to remember or relearn that, you know, akin to what you're saying, you are the only one that can effectuate your experience uh, of reality. And so it's like kind of a smack dab without any preaching, without any, um, you know, academic philosophizing. You recognize very palpably that your own experience is crafted by how you perceive and respond and react and what you choose to do. And um, I think that that is something that we need so much because we spend a lot of time trying to control ourselves and one another in our environment and to be able to experience but not just talk about the concept that um, control is kind of a waste of time and allowing yourself to be in kind of a dynamic flow and actually be present to what's going on with one another and it's, you know some things you don't like and some things you do like and uh, it's just liberating in general because I think I've always leaned towards that type of um, mentality more than even we see a lot of we often talk about it as a meeting or conference format but to me it's much more a mindset or really like a, a worldview and uh, that's how I tend to roll naturally. <laughs> and it's very exciting to be in a space where that is openly invited and to see everybody kind of figuring out what that means moment by moment. Uh, and oddly, it seems also that strange things akin to kind of like uh, connectedness and love sometimes emerge. It's like, I don't, it's not always the case, but it, it seems to happen. And I think it's just by people allowing themselves and others to to be themselves and to actually be in a space of passion and intuition and they don't even know why they feel good and then they do and it's reflected.